Hi, this is my instructional video for Volleyball Basics. We're going to start with bumping and the proper positioning. <laughs> okay, so when you're bumping, you want to have a good starting position. And that is always with your knees bent on the balls of your feet. Can you see? Okay. So let's make sure that you're ready. Sometimes people have their feet staggered or you can have them squared up. You always want to face your hips to your target. So if I want, to, I want my pass to go to the right, I'll turn my hips like this squared up to my target and the pass will go that way. To bump, your arms need to come right in front of you. You bring your hands together and point your thumbs to the ground. This makes a flat platform for the ball to go off of. So you come together, bring your arms together and step into it. This will make sure that you get enough height and enough movement on the ball to move forward. Obviously, if you're getting hit at harder, you almost absorb the ball a little bit more. And here's the demo. Okay, the next pass we're going to learn is the overhand pass or the set. To do that, you are always in ready position, so your knees are still bent, you're still on the balls of your feet, but you're going to bring your hands up and make a window with them. Bring your thumbs in, so each thumb points to the opposite ear. That way you can cradle the ball, it'll look like this. When you set, when the ball comes in, you're bringing it into your body and pushing out. The next movement we're going to learn about is hitting, which has some pretty important footwork to learn, some pretty basics. So I will pull up my pants, you can see my legs a little bit better. <laughs> Alright. When you're a right-handed hitter, starting off, I always start with my weight on my left foot. You're going to end up going right, left, right. The last two are really quick and that they're planting so you can push upwards and move your movement up. It's important that you don't, like you want your movement to go up so you don't end up drifting into the net if you're on a forward movement. Also your hands are gonna start in front of you. I can never think of it. At your first step, you're gonna bring it back. When you come together, you bring your arms forward. As you come up, you're dropping your hitting hand back, pulling it across, bring it down, rotate through. Here's a demo of a hit without the net. <laughs> when you're blocking at the net, you want to make sure that you are one of your feet and a half back. So I'm pretty close still. <laughs> Basically, knees bent, you're pushing your movement completely forward. You're jumping straight up, bringing your hands together and out. Your thumbs rotate out. This is just to cover as much space as possible and you shrug forward. <clears throat> a good way to think about it is if you are bringing your hands up over the net like they're going over a rolling pin. So they'll push over top like this. All together it looks pretty basic. <laughs> like that. You want your body to pike in the middle so you're going to be kicking out your legs a little bit like this just to make sure that you get that push over the net, your arms are over, so the ball doesn't come back down on your side and land straight in front of your face. Okay, when you're serving in volleyball, it's important to have a really good toss. That's probably the most important part of volleyball. Beginners will start out with an underhand, an underhand serve. So basically, they just hold the ball in front of them. You want contact on the heel of your thumb. And you're just gonna hit it at a low point and go right over the net, no problem. Now the overhand serve is not for beginners, it's the next step up. What you need to do is you'll be tossing with your opposite hand when you're hitting, and you want the toss to be high, a couple feet above your head, and on the side of your other shoulder. So your toss will look like this. Just in front of your hitting hand toe. And you're going to step into it with your opposite foot, and follow through with your arm. And this is what it'll look like. Now that you know all the basics for volleyball, you can go out there on the court, rip it up and have some fun.